Hello everyone, my name is Jadbury. Welcome to the official Jadbury channel. And today we got a we got a certified banger for you. Uh this is the first ever dev update on my uh, first ever video game, The Legend of the Time Popsicle. So um Let's get into it. So obviously this is my first dev update so far and I should probably go over what the game even is. Um, the Legend of the Time Popsicle starts off in a generic fantasy setting. Um, intentionally. Uh, intentionally inspired off of medieval ages, you know, known as West Wind. But soon you discover that all of time is being held together by an artifact known as the Time Popsicle. The artifact is being threatened by a great evil. In a series of epic battles, the Time Popsicle is broken into 10 pieces and scattered throughout different timelines, causing all of time to collapse in on itself. Now it's up to you and your team of unlikely heroes to find the pieces and restore peace throughout history. So yeah, that is essentially uh, the legend of the Time Popsicle. So what I want to cover in this video is what will be happening with the game and what I plan to do in the future. Um, so first off, the RPG is being made in RPG Maker. It is, which is a really good platform for um, creating games. Obviously, in just in the gameplay, I'm using stock images from RPG Maker, but that will be changed later on. So um, yeah, don't worry about that. It's all fine. That will be original artworks later on. I also want to try and get this game published by um, early 2023. That's the goal. Hopefully on Steam, and if not, probably something like uh, Game of Jolts, or, or something. That being said, there's still a lot of work to be done uh, for this project, and hopefully this can be achieved over the summer, since, uh, not right now, because exams exist. Yeah. So let's get into what I have done already. The game will be fully voice acted. Right, fully voice acted. I want to thank, thank, thank you to uh, my friends for helping me out with this. For example, Stan will be playing Oracle, one of the main characters in the game. I was doing an interview with Stan, and uh, he said that it has opened his eyes to maybe more projects like this in the future, which I think, I think that's kind of cool that my game could do that. Today I'm joined by Stan. Say hello. Hi. Hi. So this is just a quick development. Uh, update i suppose um and stan is playing oracle in the, the legend of the time popsicle so um what has playing this character been like so far well it's been it's been really fun i haven't done any projects like this before so it was a really fun and cool opportunity to be able to voice act for your game Like I'm super excited for the game. I love the concept behind it. Uh, I think the I think the design looks really cool. It looks really well done. I love the idea of the like voice acting over because like typical games like that like wouldn't really have voice acting. So I think it's yeah. cool. RPGs, yeah. And um, what else? Do you think this will open your uh, eyes to more projects like this, maybe more acting, voice acting, and stuff like that? Um, I, I definitely like it too. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know if it would, but I can hope, you know. Anyway, guys, be <laughs> sure to uh, check out the game when it's out and uh, subscribe for more updates. Of course, uh, my good friends, you know him. You know him, you love him. The, the Sir Pigeon, the chaotic gamer, Gappy himself will be playing a role in this game. Gappy, what do you have to say about this? It's... Yeah. You know what I think? Pull the word from my mouth. I think if you took sword quest and made it shit. So, yeah, I just literally joined that call. And, uh... I don't even think he knows I'm making this video. Gappy, if you're watching this, please comment... Comment, uh... Playtime Popsicle, please. Um... And hey, if you are interested in um, voice acting in this project, uh, just DM me on 
Discord or Instagram or TikTok or Twitter or Reddit or um, in this game, the player will be transported across time. For example, the ACs. Okay, no, re retake that right there. That had no energy at all. So in this game, the player will be transported across time. For example, the ACs, the Renaissance, even into the future. Each timeline will be around 30 minutes to an hour to complete and will be told in the same area, just in a different timeline. For example, your main area of exploration will be the village called Westwind which will change depending on what time um, you're in. So far I've completed the Middle Ages and the prehistoric areas. The inn will act as the hub world for this game. It will transport itself into different timelines with you and become almost this game's version of the Tarsus or the DeLorean. There you can rest, uh, revive and have, it, have a drink, check the quest board and access mini games. So I've been getting a lot of inspiration from older media uh, for this game, like Final F the Final, F like the <laughs> God, like the Final Fantasy franchise um, has really opened my eyes to how large of a game this can be, and the story behind this. Seventies and eighties music uh, for this type of soundtrack I want for this game, and of course the overall aesthetic for uh, the characters you interact with. Um, and what they wear based on what time they're from. So with that guys, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this first ever dev update. Please, uh, if you want to be part of the adventure, hit that subscribe button. You'll be updated. And, and, and... And, um, join the Last Elementals and the Time Cops Kill Discord where you'll be updated constantly. Const uh, constantly on uh, updates coming to the game and uh, the project. Again, if you want to be a part of this, let me know. Got tons of them. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time on. Oh, wait, this isn't Glass of Metals or. What should we? Uh, I don't have like an outro normally for this. You know what? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess a very special guest to do this for me. It's okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.